सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द क्वालिटेटिव टाइप ऑफ डिसीजन मेकिंग नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट समथिंग विच इज़ नोन एज क्वान्टिटेटिव डिसीजन मेकिंग सो दिस क्वान्टिटेटिव डिसीजन मेकिंग इफ यू टॉक अबाउट वॉट एवर क्वालिटेटिव डिसीजन मेकिंग वी हैव डिस्कस सो फॉर दैट इज़ प्योरली बेस्ड ऑन सम सम इंटरनल क्यूज ऑफ द डिसीजन मेकर समथिंग इंटरनल और समथिंग विच इज़ हैपनिंग इन साइड द कंज्यूमर्स माइंड बट इन केस ऑफ क्वान्टिटेटिव डिसीजन मेकिंग वॉट एवर डिसीजन द डिसीजन मेकर विल टेक दैट वुड बी प्योरली बेस्ड ऑन द नंबर्स लाइक यू विल कंडक्ट सम रिसर्च यू विल गेट और यू विल कलेक्ट सम डेटा फ्रॉम द मार्केट एंड देन यू विल एनालाइज दैट डेटा एंड यू विल गेट सम इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम दैट डेटा यू विल कन्वर्ट दो डेटा इन टू द डिफरेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन बेस्ड ऑन द नंबर्स यू विल टेक सम डिसीजन दैट इज नोन एज द क्वान्टिटेटिव डिसीजन मेकिंग इन इन बेसिकली इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वान्टिटेटिव डिसीजन मेकिंग सो दीज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिसीजन मेकिंग्स आर बेस्ड आर हैविंग डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मैथडोलॉजी रिसर्च टूल्स और यू कैन से एनालिसिस टेक्निक्स बेसिकली स्टैटिस्टिकल एनालिसिस टेक्निक्स विच दीज इफ विल टॉक अबाउट दीज द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टेक्निक्स लाइक द फर्स्ट इज द रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस और द डिफरेंट टाइप्स of the details the conjoint analysis factor analysis or the discriminant analysis structural equation modeling so these are the different analysis techniques data analysis techniques that you should know as a decision maker it doesn't mean you you, you will not know or you have no idea about these techniques you should know these techniques so that you can place your decision based on the and these techniques are used uh, based on different situations like each technique has their own assumption each technique has their own application so as a decision maker you should know in which situation or in such type of situation or for such type of data what kind of decision making technique you will so if we talk about the quantitative decision making so basically it is of three types like the descriptive analytics uh, predictive analysis and the third would be your the prescriptive analysis so let's talk about the descriptive predictive and the prescriptive analysis so first is descriptive analysis so if we talk about the descriptive analysis it is a kind of analysis technique which is used in situations like it is basically a kind of report on what happened in the past this format uh may be standard report or the dashboard or a scorecard so basically descriptive analytics is used in situations when or what the type of analysis as a researcher you will do or as a decision maker you will just analyze the past data but if we talk about the predictive analysis means it's basically the statistical model or we will use the statistical model on the past data to predict our futures so that is known as a predictive as its name or name suggests like predictive analytics based on the past you can predict your future so here in case of predictive analysis researchers basically use the forecasting exercise and if we talk about the last one which is known as the prescriptive analysis so prescriptive analysis are the models or the analysis that inform people how to best perform a specific task in their job so prescriptive analysis just like we have the doctor's prescription similarly this prescriptive analysis will help us to know the recommendations for the action you can see the analytics based recommendation for the action the recommendation might involve the best price to charge for the product what should be the optimal size of inventory that a company should hold or the treatment for any particular patient's disease so there is no prescriptive analytics in this simulation so in short we can say that the descriptive analytics is just the 
uh, what is happening in the past it's it's basically kind of report you will just analyze the past uh, data predictive analysis you are predicting the future based on your past records or the past data while the prescriptive analysis it's basically the analytics based recommendations for the action so these are the three different types of analytics and you should know as a decision maker you should know what kind of analytics you are uh, doing so that's all from my side thank you so much in the coming video we will talk about few cases that will help us to know like how the decision maker should make a decision thanks a lot